Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and in this video I am going to demonstrate how to create and delete virtual networks in Azure using Crossplane. First we need to install the Crossplane in a Kubernetes cluster. I am going to use my local Minikube. So first let's check the status of the Minikube. So Minikube is up and running. We need both kubectl as well as the helm. So let's confirm version of them okay so we could see the client version is 1.27 now let's check the helm version so we have the helm version 3.11.2 now let us add the cross plane stable repositories helm repo add cross plane stable to provide the repo link charts dot cross plane dot ivo slash stable so we have successfully added the repositories now let's do a help repo update to update the local cache now let's do the help and install help install cross plane cross screen so we are going to install it in the namespace cross plane system and the namespace doesn't exist so we are going to create the namespace so the cross plane has been successfully installed now so as part of the installation it is going to create two pods so let's confirm that with ctl get pods and we need to specify the namespace so we could see two pods are successfully running as part of the helm installation it creates some api resources also let's confirm that give ctl api resources and then we'll grab for cross plane so we could see these are the different resources which have api resources which have been created as part of the helm installation now we need to install the provider so let's create the provider yaml file vi provider.yaml so we need to specify the api version is going to be pkg dot crossplane dot io slash v1 then we need to specify the kind which is going to be provider then we are going to give the meta data then we will give the name we will give the name as provider azure then we need to give the spec in the spec we need to give the package dot bound dot io slash bound slash provider hyphen azure colon version i'm going to give the version as 0 dot 32 dot 0 now save the changes now let us create the provider minus f the azure provider has been successfully created let's confirm that get providers so we could see the provider has been successfully installed but the health status is unknown while the provider is installing all the necessary crds we will log into azure and then we will create a services principle then create a Kubernetes secret with that. So we need to log into Azure using AZ login. But already I have logged in, so I'm not going to do the login now. So I will directly create the service principle. Search ADSP create for 
back and this decay off roll is soon no then we need to give it the scopes subscriptions and then the subscription id and the output i want to write to this file as your credentials dot json so now we have the azure credentials dot json file created okay now let us create the kubernetes secret with that kubectl create secret generic we call it as azure secret then we are going to create it in the cross plane namespace and this is using the content of the from file equal to threads equal to dot slash so we need to give the name of the file as your credentials so the azure secret has been successfully created now now let us confirm whether the provider has installed all the crds yeah we could see the provider status is also true so now let us create the provider config provider config.yaml to give the api version which is going to be azure dot bound dot io slash v1 beta 1 then the kind is going to be provider config then meta data we we'll give the name we are going to give the name as default then the spec we need to give the credentials then shells source is secret then the secret ref we need to give the namespace which is the cross plane system then we need to give the name which is going to be azure secret and then we need to give the key which is scripts So let us save this and now let us create the provider config ctl create minus f config so we have successfully created the provider config as well now let us go and create the virtual network the managed resource virtual network now let us add the resource definition for creating the virtual network to provide the api version which is going to be network dot azure dot upbound dot ios slash v1 beta 1 then the kind is virtual network then we need to give a name as part of the metadata name i'm going to give it a cp Binet. and then we need to define the spec for provider we need to provide the address space i'm going to give it as 10.0.0.0 slash 16 then we then we need to give the location i'm good i'm going to give it as east else we need to give the resource group name we're going to give it as cpgrp now let us save the changes now let us create the virtual network apply nsf 
the virtual network dollar network has been successfully created let's confirm that so we could see that the cpd net is getting created So we could see that it has been successfully created because the ready state is true and the sync is also true. Now let us go and validate in the portal. I have logged into the portal. Click virtual networks. So we created in the name of CP VNet. So we could see we have a network CDP VNet which has been successfully created. You see that this is the address space what we defined. Click that. So now let's change the address space to 24. And then it's save. Advantage of using cross plane to provision these resources is the cross plane uses the Kubernetes concepts. So on a regular interval, it keeps on polling the external resource which it has created. So if it notices any change, automatically it reverts back to the original configuration. So in our case, actually we have modified the namespace. So let's describe and see. We could see the address space is 10.0.0.0 slash 16. But in the UI, actually, we changed it to 10.0.0.0 slash 24. But here, we are seeing this is 10.0.0.0 slash 16. And the age is 2 minutes 49 seconds. So generally, the cross plane, it pulls once in 10 minutes. So we will be able to see the change reflecting in the UI after 10 minutes. So now we could see, so there is an update. It says successfully requested update of the external resource. Okay, so let's go and validate that in the portal so let's refresh and we could see the address space now it is again changed back to 16 so this is the advantage of using cross plane as it regularly monitors and brings back the system to the desired state based on the configuration okay now let us see how to delete the resources what we have created using the cross plane. Kubectl delete virtual network dot network. Then we need to give the resource name. So that is what we gave a CP VNet. So the virtual network CP VNet has been successfully deleted. Let's validate that in the UI. The virtual network. Let's search for that CP VNet. Okay, so there is no virtual network by the name CP VNet. In this demo, we have seen how to install cross plane in a Kubernetes cluster, then how to create the virtual network in Azure using cross plane. We also modified the address space and then validated that the cross plane reverts it back to the original address space value. Also, we have seen how to delete the virtual network using cross plane. If you like this demo, please do like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching the demo.